Are you looking for a beautiful and fascinating fish type? The neon tetra may be the one. This bright colored species has received much attention from around world because of its stunning appearance. However, many people said that it can sometimes prove difficult, if not impossible to identify between male or female neon tetras without having enough knowledge about types like these. You are reading. How to identify male and female neon tetra fish. The difference between male and female neon tetras is clear to see. For example, males have large gothic style whiskers on their faces that they use for sensing danger while females do not possess these features at all. The article will help you to know how identify male and female neon tetra fish. Let's take a look. See more, male tetras versus female tetras. Male tetras versus female tetras in order to identify any animal's gender, you need look no further than their appearance. The differences between males and females are clear-cut for all intents and purposes, they are easy enough even without having reached sexual maturity yet. It only takes about four to six months before neon tetras grow up completely in this regard though so keep your eyes peeled if planning on buying one as soon as possible the tank speak. If looking at fish through human vision sounds like too much work it does ours. There is another way that can help narrow things down considerably when trying figure out what kind of creature IT could possibly be. Whether adult or young doesn't matter because everything will still show reasonably clearly against whichever backdrop there are several key differences between the male and female tetra. For example, females tend to have a rounder body shape with fuller curves whereas males often possess more of an athletic figure due in part from their shorter height or broad shoulders, which leads them having less weight loss at maturity compared other fish species who grow faster because they are colder blooded like mammals apes. The coloration difference also comes into play here, while both sexes sport some form brown or beige tones on its outer layer, this article will focus primarily towards identifying neon coloring schemes when determining gender. Shape of blue stripe neon tetra fish have blue stripes that run vertically down their bodies. The males is nearly straight, but female neon tetsars have a more curved body shape, and so they also come with wider hips, which makes them look different from males in terms of appearance alone. Color Color the male tetra's coloration is more stunning and vibrant than that of his female counterpart. Just like other animals, the males tend to be much brighter in order competing with one another for attention from females. This appearance has been shown time after time as an effective weapon against which attractively decorated males can outshine their less fortunate counterparts. Body shape All of the neon tetras are pretty tiny. But it will get easier when comparing their body shape. As mentioned above male tatras have a more straight, and thinner build while females tend to be rounded out with bigger dimensions in comparison. As you can see from this passage that was created about freshwater aquarium fish, there's always something new learned. Belly it's easy to tell when your female neon tetra is ready for spawn. Her belly will be larger and rounder than normal, just like the males. This means she may have been pregnant with eggs or young ones that are about ready a mixture into their world of swimming water shop life cycle adventures. So make sure you clean up after her, because who knows what could happen if hentai fish swim around unsupervised. I hope this article has helped answer some questions regarding how fish give birth underwater without any human intervention whatsoever so far. Length of fins Length of fins The following are some of the features that can be used to determine male and female tetras. Generally, males have longer fins than females. The anal and dorsal fin also varies depending on sex. In most cases they are shorter for females while being more expansive with long blades found near their base in males' bodies which serves an aesthetic purpose. Nowadays people tend to prefer fancy looking fish so breeders selective bred certain types like neon tets, which has lengthy installments right behind its head these traits satisfy customers' taste, as well since it offers both beauty and function. Captive bred neon tetras The different types of neon tetras can be identified by their coloration. 
The most common and popular variety is the wild caught strain, which has green stripes on its body. However, there are also other colors like brown or yellow that appear less often in nature than others do because they are bred for appearance rather than survival rates. What does a wild caught neon tetra look like? What does a wild caught neon tetra look like? Wild caught neon tetras are the ultimate in variant varieties. Their vibrant neon blue stripe on top of back and body. Silvery belly with sparkling fins makes them stand out amongst all others. These real variants also have limited size differences that can be seen within their bodies, as well in colorful anal fin runnel linking it to its tail fin, which gives this species charm not found anywhere else the output tone should now sound much more professional. Ornamental neon tetras, though it is not necessary to have an aquarium full of colorful fish, having just one or two kinds can make for an interesting addition. When choosing which kind you should get there are several things that will affect your decision, what color do they glow in? How big does their body size need or want me enclosed space available where I plan on keeping them identifying gender in ornamental neon tetras the gender of an ornamental neon tetra can be identified by looking at its body shape. The key features that determine whether they are male or female include length, coloration and fin configuration, however these do not always provide accurate information because it's possible for two individuals in possession of similar traits to have opposite genders for example. One with long fins could also possess short ones. In general though, if you want to ensure your fish isn't female, then go ahead try checking out some other freshwater species. Male neon tetras are slimmer and more elegant than their female counterparts. The difference in body shape plays an important role during reproduction which is why these fish remain even with ornamental neon tetra farm animals. Male vs female neon tetras, which live longer. Male vs female neon tetras, which live longer. These fish live in an environment with great water quality and can thrive, even if they are males or females. They typically only need to be cared for by someone who has access at home since it is impossible for just one person the owner take care of all these needs without help from friends or family members when caring becomes too much work. Conclusion Neon Tetras are incredible fish for you to keep inside your aquarium. They will make the tank more beautiful and natural with their bright colors that contrast beautifully against dark environments, making them perfect companions among other aquatic life such as cichlids or loaches. The list below can help identify male vs female neon tickles, so they don't get mixed up in a setup mishap. The shoals of neon tetras are a fascinating and quick way to get some fresh fish. These little guys love swimming around in your tank. So don't hesitate when you see them following their natural feeding path. Furthermore make sure that everyone knows about this article because they will enjoy it as well besides if there's anything else on mind please leave us comment down below or contact Congo Fishes directly for help with whatever question comes up next. FAQ The Congo Fishes team has prepared answers to some of the most asked questions about neon tetras. For example, when do they become pregnant? What color are their eggs and where can I find them in my tank? How to tell if neon tetra is pregnant? The female neon tetra displays an adorable pregnant belly when it is time to give birth. The swollen part on their bellies means they are carrying eggs or offspring. So you can identify these fish by looking at what's going in where. What color are neon tetra eggs? What color are neon tetra eggs? Neon tetra females can lay up to 120 eggs at once. The tiny globe-shaped larvae are clear white or yellow tinted and grow into beautiful mature adults that have light blue skin with dark markings on their heads. Backsides and fins. Do cardinal tetras breed easily? The breeding process for tetras can be quite complicated, especially in captivity. It requires a variety of conditions, such as soft water and light that is shadowed, so they breed easily without fear or stress from their environment which makes them friendly towards other community members while still being able to keep up with natural behaviors like hunting food sources at night when no one's looking.
How do I know if my tetra fish is pregnant? To determine if your fish is pregnant, you need to pay attention and notice the size of their body. If they are bigger around where it counts their abdominal area or tail section, then there's a high chance that she he will be carrying eggs in development. Females tend to show more interest than males when looking for potential breeding partners, so keep an eye out next time you go into tank after them. Additionally, monitoring things such as bubble nests can provide clues about what kinds.